Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. You just watched a video game that Elon Musk developed at the age of 12 and later sold for $500. Today, we examine Elon Musk's CV and see what he has done in the business world up until now. Elon's first project, like many others, was inspired by reading comics. Elon was born in South Africa, where he grew up and attended the University of Pretoria. Age 17, he moved to Canada, getting Canadian citizenship through his Canadian-born mother. He went to Queen's University and then transferred to Pennsylvania University in the USA. In 1995, he attended Stanford University in California, but he decided to drop out and pursue a career in business. Elon's next project was with his brother, Kimball. They co-founded a web software company called Zip2. Zip2 was like Yelp or TripAdvisor, which combined a map service that directed you on how to get to your business. The website would show the businesses that were around and provide directions. It seemed simple enough, but it was way ahead of its time. The company was eventually purchased by Compaq for $307 million, with Musk receiving $22 million for selling his 7% share. That same year, 1999, Elon launched X.com, an online bank. In 2000, a year later, it merged with Confinity to form a company called PayPal, which was eventually bought by eBay in 2002 for $1.5 billion. From there, Elon moved on to his next project, SpaceX, a project that would get him into space and look towards traveling and populating Mars. Like so many of his other projects, it was a very challenging one. Musk realized that he would need to reuse his rockets if his mission into space was going to be cost-effective and pay off. Hence, his team perfected vertical takeoffs and vertical landings. Elon managed to get a spaceman into the NASA space station and has also launched satellites into space with a view to providing net internet worldwide. Stay to the end and I will let, let you know one major challenge facing Elon Musk in the USA and in Texas. Back to the story, in 2004, Elon's vision was to reduce carbon emissions by introducing electric cars. That's when Tesla was born. It started with the sports car, the Roadster. Then it mo moved on to the Model S, the Model X, the Model 3, and now the Model Y. Elon is also launching the Cybertruck and the Semi-Truck either this year or next. They are more than cars, they are computers on wheels. In 2015, Elon Musk co-founded OpenEye. Artificial intelligence is at the forefront of Tesla. That is why Tesla fans will tell you that Tesla is not a car company, but a tech company. It should not be compared with Ford or GM, but should be compared with Apple. It is currently working on next generation learning using the Dojo chip and Dojo systems for its gigafactories. The Tesla cars are being equipped with full self-driving chips and Tesla now are working on the Tesla bot, which will do all the repetitive, unsafe and boring jobs in the gigafactories in the future. In 2016 came Neuralink, this technology allows you to put a chip inside a person's head with electrode threads connected to the brain with the promise that in the future sensory and motor functions for neurological disorders will be restored.
Tesla is expected to start human trials very soon. Finally, before we find out what is one of Elon Musk's biggest challenges in the USA and Texas, in December 2016, Elon Musk founded The Boring Company, an underground tunneling company that would resolve traffic problems. This is part of Elon's futuristic travel plans. So finally, what is Elon Musk's biggest challenge in the USA? Well, it's Joe Biden's reluctance to acknowledge Tesla as a market leader in EVs and as a shining star in terms of what entrepreneurs can do in America. If you think the Republicans are any better, you would be mistaken. Both Ted Cruz and Greb Abbott, who have received hundreds of thousands of dollars, are pointing hurdles in the way of Elon Musk as they continue to support Exxon Mobil. So this is just a taste of what you have to put up with in the fight as a business person in the USA. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you'd like to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you soon.